Hello and good morning everyone. Well, today, yes, market is on. Yesterday, there was an holiday of Guru Nanak Jainti, but now today market is on. But however, the takeover from US is not so great. Means not so great means it's a quite a substitute, substitute market in US. Yes, today we're going to talk about market and also we are going to talk about one stock that is Sipla, which has fallen a lot in recent time, you no know, more than 8% two, three years ago fallen. So what do we have to do? Because I got a lot many queries about Sipla what to do from here so yes we are going to talk in detail about cipla and also i am going to talk about when to exit from the stock not from cipla but overall at a market level now because that is very important catalyst we have to understand about when to enter and exit that also we are going to take it this uh, at the end so i think these three topics we are going to cover today first let us talk about of the market so current scenario of the market is like it is in a range bound as i told you that in a us the inflation is peaked down and hopefully going onwards in the first half of the next year us fed is going to cut the interest rate. so that's why market is a little bit positive there but there are no many trigger coming in this weekend and yesterday also if you've seen the us market has just a little bit fallen but as such no big movement so yes all everyone eyes is on the oil prices because you no know, OPEC meeting is going to be concluded and you know, what they are doing. They, are they going to cut down the production because they want to keep it about 85, 90 because their economy is depending a lot on that. So let's see how they are going to it. Basically, they are planning to keep it at least about 90 above. And many of the reports are there that oil may reach 200. If it goes 200, then you know that it is not good for the india as a country but let's see what the opec meeting is going to do. somehow as i told you the overall the global market is some range bound only you now not a big movement coming so today in the opening you now let's see where we'll start from unless unless bigger queue is coming you can see the last one week you now it's like you no know, uh, going into the range only so that is the market not to too much talk about that let's see how today's situation is panning out at the market level now let us talk about sipla yes sipla stock has fallen a lot and one of the main reason that pitambur uh, pitambur uh, their uh, unit which is there in madhya pradesh received that uh, warning letter now this warning letter which they received in november 17th it's not that they received first time already in february they received the warning letter and it's an extension of that warning letter so again the current production what we understood uh, understand that no it is not going to impact it yes but the new projects and new products which are going to they were having no they it get delayed and this is the problem which the company may face see almost 30 percent of us sale was being done through this unit so it's a substantial unit no actually this will impact their profitability but how much that we have to assess now talking about this uh, product the product name is g albuterol okay and they actually launched between april 20 to december 22 no they uh, during april 20 they uh, launched it and there are almost 3000 companies uh, 3000 complaints sorry they got it between these two years and that is the problem which usfd is pro facing here telling that no lot many complaints are there but yes 91 percent of the complaints which they received is related to that no spray and no minor complaint or empty or less weight and that was minor complaint but yes 91 percent was that only now the main thing is as this business is big it will have an impact on the future production again guys the new product which they were going to bring was g edware which was having a significant market uh, share of almost seven, 700 million in US. Now, it may delay by six to seven months. Again, guys, you know that whenever this type of US FDA issue comes, no, it is not easy to resolve it. No, it, it takes time. And now we have to see how the company is able to resolve as, as a less possible. And you know that US FDA is quite strict. Yes, why? Because most of our products are going there. We are doing a lot of export and that's why they are having a stringent uh, process of assessing you know, whether all the things are properly placed or not. And here also, what I have understood that manufacturing defect were much more and that was a, been a reason of US FDA issue. Uh, yes, regularity issues are also there and then warning letter was there. 
again guys uh, another big catalyst for cipla will be that how the promoter is existing from the uh, company yes you heard it right that yes promoter is planning to exit from the company not completely but yes they want to sell their major stake now many of the p player and the share uh, other pharma companies also running in this race of now acquiring the controlling stake of cipla and on majority stake of cipla so one of the company is nothing but the torrent pharma they also running but yes we have to see from here as an investor at what price this stake sale is happening whether it is at a premium level or not that is what we have to understand if it is at a premium level then it will be a very good catalyst for cipla from here that shows that uh, uh, it has an inherent strength and then only you know it will sell at a higher level so uh, that is uh, that is another big catalyst you have to think about it when you talking about cipla now if i talk about cipla that what is the going to be impact and know how much the pricing power and how much earning impact will be there so overall i think guys cipla is very well placed yes these are uh, minor or let us see whether it is a major hiccup or not but overall i don't think that uh, cipla is a bad company to invest even i also prefer cipla the reason is simple that no they have a very good management over the years they have done an extraordinary uh, no uh, conduct of doing the business and uh, overall the performance is also good so in layers if you talk about last one year cipla is also almost i think more than 40 to 50% rise in the stock price and one of the main reason why was that cipla is been comparatively much more stronger company in all the pharma pack so i think that whenever you get this type of fall whenever this regulatory issues are there no uh, i think this this may become a very good opportunity to buy this type of good quality stocks yes we have to assess what is going to be happening in future but overall i think uh, no if you are thinking of long term I, uh, at a large cap like a pharma company no supplies is okay i, I don't feel like that there is a big issue there unless unless something come out that's a different thing and guys whatever i am telling you know you you can ask your finance advisor and then you take a decision of course because you know that sebi rules so you cannot speak like that that and so better you consult with your financial advice and take a decision but yes this is what my view and uh, guys yes before i go i want you guys to click the below link and subscribe to our channel if you are still not subscribed also do like this video and please share this video to everyone because you know this is how you no know, i my main motto is to uh, spread financial literacy across the uh, public that will serve so please help me a lot on that by if you feel that yes we are doing a good job please share uh, this video to as many people as possible and also do like the video without fail okay i want more likes in this video because we are trying our best you not know, to help you on the stock selection and to solve your queries and of course talking our queries guys if you are not written please put it in the comment box i'll answer your queries today evening also i am going to answer many of the queries which were written in the past and uh, i'll try to take as many as queries related to stock market economy whatever you want to say you can ask and uh, that is my strength so that is what i'll talk about so please put it in the comment box so i'll try to help you out so now this was what we were talking about market and cipla now let us talk about when to sell now what do you mean by when to sell i'm not talking about cipla stock i'm talking about when to sell any stock in the market Well, this is one of the most important question no asked by the uh, by the investor no when to sell, and of course this should be because no stock is forever. Guys, understand you cannot marry a stock. You have to take a proper decision when to exit, and that is where the four stage analysis plays a big role. No, that uh, any company when you are talking about long term business, no, the com company goes from four stages. first is the introduction says when the company is just starting and does not have a great profitability you know it's available at a very cheaper level then comes the growth stage a growth stage is nothing you no know, where everything is going fine for the company profitability is going up you no know, and uh, new geographies and great demand of course new investor private equity players tech sale i lot many things happens during that time 
and that is where there is a big growth stage and then comes the consolidation stage what is consolidation is where the companies already gone up a lot then lot many competition comes into picture they also you know try to take the market share and there the there is a stagnancy coming in the company level where sales is not increasing profitability is coming less or not going up and stagnation and, and this may also be there for a longer years and again guys all these stages which i am telling you know this may be for uh maybe two years three years five years we don't know or one year or six months also that depends on stock to stocks but yes there is a maturity stage. the fourth stage is the decline stage a decline stage is where you can say that uh uh, the company is not able to perform against its competition and the profitability is going down and there is a sudden drop in the prices okay and business unit closure happens again from the third stage to fourth stage there will be two way one way be again it is going to the second stage and the stock price again going up or it may be going down then it will be the fourth stage so these are the four stages and just to know if you guys if you know want to know more things in, in detail now we are conducting master class now you can click the below link and do attend that master class where we are talking about that but yes so as a long-term investor no you have to keep these four stages uh, very very uh, thing in mind because this is how you have to do an entry addition and exit now talking about specifically on exit you have to exit when a stock is going to the third stage and the fourth stage. The reason is, if it is in a third stage, it will be there for a longer time and this is where the problem is created. Kya hota hai ki then the investor will start losing interest, big, big players will start going out and st stock will be stabilizing at a one level, two, three years and the market is going up and your stock is not going up. Then you will feel they are kya ho hai, market stock you perform and the one of the reason is the stock is in a big consolidation level and this is where you have to take a uh, proper judgment understand and analyze the stock and if possible please get out from the stock and go to a much more stock uh, a stock which will have a much much healthy return over the time or which is there in the group, uh, second stage so please keep this in mind you have to sell a stock whenever this type of third or fourth stage is coming if you start marrying a stock now this is what the most of the retail investor i have seen over the years we have assessed thousands of retail investors and i have seen that they get entered in a stock at a right level but somehow their exit is not at a right time and that is where the big big problem is created guys uh, you are coming in this market to earn money. You are not coming here to just to, you know, have a time pass. And you know? so your serious money, your serious savings is already invested in this market. And this savings, you must have got it after a lot of hard work and putting thousands of man hours, guys. Understand when it comes to market, now you have to quarterly result. You have to review it. And if you feel that your yes, future is not bright, please get out from the stock and take a proper decision because uh, getting out at right time will give you a very good uh, you can say no exit point and also whatever profit till now you have you are able to retain and uh, why i'm saying this no because 95 percent of retail investors never try to do book law profit they always think that stock is forever no stock is forever guys and uh guys this stage analysis you can understand through price volume action and also it should be club with price volume action and along with the fundamental analysis you have to think about now what is going to happen in future and what the management is saying what is the guidance is there any big catalyst coming in near future is the change in the management happening all this stuff lot many things you have to understand what is the future prospects and then take a decision see money is yours it's your hard-earned money so don't lose it so guys uh, this is what i want to try to convey uh, to you guys today and uh, guys hope you are liking our videos and if you're liking please uh, do subscribe and click the like button and do share it to everyone also today evening i am going to share all of your queries whoever is given queries so please be there in the evening video and uh, we'll be see you soon there at that time okay so thank you stay tuned see you then bye bye